Morning. Where's York? You don't know where your wife is? She already left when I woke up. She said something about going to the office early. So it's just us three? Unfortunately. Actually, I forgot. I got a presentation later. I should go in early to prep. <clears throat> Suit yourself. I mean, he's really such a show-off. Some people are like that. But what is super irritating about Ashraf is, when the consultant asks the question, he knows the answer. What's wrong with that? Because he has this smug look. So everyone knows he knows the answer. Oh, I so hate that. Exactly. But instead of just answering, he will let everyone give the wrong answer first. And then, finally, the great Dr. Ashraf... <coughs> um, <coughs> maybe we should talk about something else? will save us all other doctors from our misery. We are talking about your brother. I know. Don't stop my account. See? She's okay with it. Um, let me check on Khalid. He should be done by now. Your parents didn't come for your wedding. That, sometimes I understand. But why are things so bad between you and your siblings also? This is just the way things are. Is that all you're going to tell us? That's all you need to know. And what I need to know is just how many large items we're living. I need to arrange for disposal. So, get back to me, okay? What is it? Hey, Em. Um, can we spend some time with Maxine the day after school? Both of us? Yeah. I thought it might be good for Maxine to you know, see us spend some time together. We already do. True, but... As I told you last night, you know, her teacher said she's been rather uncooperative. I thought this could reassure her that we're fine. I get your point. So we'll surprise you today after school? Okay. You did the right thing. Is it enough? It's more than what Dad ever did for us. I hope we can pull this off. What do you want to talk about? What's happening to the Vietnam project? How come you haven't updated me? I don't think you understand how these things work, Hawk. I told you I would vouch for your company, but if you want the job, you still have to do the legwork. Where are your figures? Have you submitted any plans? I thought you recommending us for the job would be enough. Do you really expect everything to fall on your lap? You're not remodeling a five-room flat. This is a big development. If you don't do anything to help yourself, even if I back you up, who's going to take me seriously? You seem a bit tense this morning. If I hear about Ashraf or Amina, it gets to me. So hopefully, I don't have to see or hear about them too much. But they both work with Sarif. And he can't stand Ashraf, so that's fine. But Sarif asked Amina out. And now she's angry with him. So hopefully, whatever it is that is between them will come to an end soon. Do you think Amina will stay angry with Sari forever? Sure, they might get along for a while. But once he sees her true colours, he will realise she's difficult. And we both know Zarif can't handle difficult women. And Khalid, are you going to tell him about his auntie and uncle? Nope. I've already told you. He has done just fine without them. Anyway, Khalid will have enough to deal with when he meets Zarin. Mommy's ice cream is melting. She'll be back from the ladies' room soon. Can I try her flavor? Sure. I don't think she'll mind. Oops. Oh, hey, you were making a huge mess there. Hold up, hold up. <clears throat> Daddy, no. Mommy don't like people snooping in her bag. <laughs> snooping? That's what Mommy said when I look in her bag. I'm sure it will be fine. No! Maxine, I'm just trying to get some tissue paper. Okay, okay. I won't go in there. Can you tell me why? No way. These are the famous donuts with the Michelin star baker? The ones that cost 10 bucks each. Mm-hmm. A client brought them over as a gift, and guess who saved the last three for... You guys.
What's wrong? I'm just thinking about how happy the little orphans will be when they get this donut. Uh, what, what orphans? Oh, the orphans from this charity I've been working with. You want to give the donuts to the orphans? But there are only two left. It's okay. I can cut them up into 50 tiny little pieces so they can share. Oh. Because they hardly get donuts. Take mine. I can't. Please. Okay. Thank you. Dr. Shen! Hmm? Want a donut? Ooh, yes. Mm. Mmm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I took a while. Where's Maxine? Ask Mom to take her home. Why? So you and I can have a talk. Hi, Amina. Thanks for coming. Don't flatter yourself. I'm here for your patient. What's the case? Mrs. Sui was just diagnosed with cervical cancer. She was quite emotional when she got the news. Why don't I just read that myself? I mean, about what happened the other night. I'm so sorry I stood you up. I tried to text you, but... The patient's in bed 45? Yeah. What's so important that you had to drag me all the way here? I just wanted to have a conversation with you in private. Is that too much to ask? Maxine told me about the contraceptives. Look, you can do whatever it is you want to do, but do not scold Maxine for finding them. I didn't mean to, but I panicked. And now she's jumpy about that bag of yours. She's afraid. Well, I wouldn't need to keep secrets if it weren't for you. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. You're blaming me again. You want me to stop blaming you? Let's get a divorce then. And I wouldn't have to lie all the time. That would solve everything, wouldn't it? I'm so tired of fighting like this. The, the arguing, the uncertainty. Look, I am letting you do whatever it is you want to do. So please, please do not take Maxine away from me. What you said about taking practical steps and making the most of the time she had left, I could tell she wasn't so scared anymore. Are you trying to butter me up? No, I genuinely think you did a great job. And you're surprised? No. I don't need your praise, Doctor. Number one, you're not in charge of me. Number two, I know I'm good at what I do. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound... Patronizing? Look, Amina, I know you're angry with me. And I deserve it. I shouldn't have forgotten about our date and I should have called you. But so many crazy things happened with my family, between my mother and my brother... That... If you want counselling, please. Make an appointment. Hi, Matt. Yo. I've been trying to get you. I was busy. You have me now. What's up? I just want to check in. Are you okay? I felt like... I'm fine. Okay. I didn't see you this morning. Are you coming back for dinner? I can't. I'm meeting a client. And don't wait up for me. I need to go, okay? Okay. Debbie drinks tonight? Yolk? You want a drink? Yeah. You. It's good to hear voice too. When can I see you again? We can't. What if Eunice finds out? She won't. She already thinks we've broken up. Please, can we meet? I miss you so much. I miss you too, but it's too risky. <sighs> this is so hard. You know why we have to do this? For how long more? Just a while more. Just to make sure. I love you so much. Me too. But... This is not the time to be careless, so we better hang up now.
just in case someone hears us, okay? Talk soon, okay? Miss Shirley, Hawk. Ah, Hawk. When can I expect some paperwork from you? Soon. I just want to check if you need us to do the earthworks. Well, do you want to take on the entire Vietnam project? Or do you want to be, mm, what do they call it now? Be a subcon? Hey. Working on the free clinic? Yeah. Trying to figure out how to put all this boring stuff together. Really wish Shen would show up. He would have been done with this hours ago. Why are you doing this, Yang? I don't want to lose the free clinic project for Shen. I heard Eunice gave you a hard time at the KSF meeting. Are you surprised? Wow. Dealing with Ella. Facing Eunice. And I still salvaged the clinic. Guess you're proud of yourself. As proud as you are of me. Hi. And Rose just told me Harris is coming back. Again? Yes. I thought it was only one day, but no. How long is he going to train under car? I don't know. It seems he just calls and comes whenever he wants. Between his accounting, I guess? No. He's been deep cleaning his father's stall. He thinks he might want to take over the stall. Good luck to him. The food business is tough. And why is he here learning? What is he learning? To cook. Remember? Your almost wife. Ilya. What did she do? She... Harris is not like Ilya. He's not going to steal our recipes. How do you know? He's got too much of his own opinion. What you should be afraid of is him taking your recipes and making it better than what we can do. How's James doing? I saw him in his office earlier and he looked pretty upset. Yeah, he's been going through a lot. I'll try to find some time to talk to him later. You know, just to make sure everything's okay. That won't be necessary, Ananya. I'll make sure that my husband is okay. I tell you, Rose is too trusting. Ibu, you're getting worked up for nothing. Think about it. Haris is an accountant at a top firm. Why would he want to give all that up and be a hawker? Then how come he's wasting his time doing all this training? Of course, at first he's excited and all. But do you think he can tahan? True. He's been in an office all his life. <laughs> he has no idea how hard it is. Exactly. Once he gets tired of it, if he even starts, trust me, he'll go back to accounting. James? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have lost my temper at you and I shouldn't have snapped at Maxine. I was embarrassed and I didn't want her to tell anyone else about the pills. I didn't mean to make her feel that she'd done something wrong. I'm sorry too. I know you've been affected by everything that's happened to Ella. Let's not talk about that. It's too hard. I know it must be a blow to you after trying to reach out to her for so long. Going home? Maybe. Dr. Shen, wait up. Where are you heading to? Ah, uh, just home. You? JFPH. I have that greenifying project I told you about. Right, and I'm supposed to set you up with some people? Yes, please don't forget that. I won't. Are there any good places to have dinner around there? 
Uh, there are a couple of places, but nothing worth the calories, unfortunately. Hmm, a serious foodie. Well, in that case, there is this one place nearby, which I think is pretty good. Since you have nothing on, why don't we try it? And you can tell me whether it meets your standards. Sure. Got a minute? I need your signature on the Jakarta Agreement. Sure. I trust you and Emily have talked things out. Well, we weren't fighting. That's a nice change. Is it? Isn't it? It is if it's a real change. It isn't if it's part of some hidden agenda. Are you gonna do anything about it? Honestly, I don't know if I can. <gasps> Oi, slow down. Why, you can't keep up with me? What's with you, uh? Why are you saying call me up? <clears throat> Should I have called someone else? No. You know you can always call me. I can't stand lying to Matthew anymore. Lying to Matthew? Why are you lying to your husband? Because I'm a fraud. He'd be ashamed of me if he knew what I did. What's going on? Nothing. I know you. You know me. Okay. Maybe not the high-class Shelly you, huh? The you that went to what U.S. to study. The you that got me. You should be glad that you're safe. What's safe? Why do you think I stayed away from all of you? Ever since the accident with Ella, I've been a curse. <gasps> Steven was arrested. Ella is in hospital, mental institution, whatever. Why? Because of me. Because of bloody cursed me. Thanks for listening just now. It was nice to be honest with each other. Yeah. You know, I um I really misjudged everyone. You and Lewis, oh, well, that really put me into a tailspin. <laughs> And then I totally misjudged Ella, as if I never learned my lesson. I just feel like a fool. James? I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? For causing this rift between you and Louis? For this mess I've made of our marriage? I shouldn't have married you, but I... I loved you so much, and... And it really hurt when you didn't love me back. I'm sorry I took your friendship for granted. You didn't. You never lied to me. I'm the one who lied to you. You always used to do this when I was small and I fell down and scraped my knee. The tears would stop the second you hugged me. What happened to our friendship, yeah? Mommy, Daddy, I love you! <laughs> I really have been a lousy friend to you. Yeah, man. Anyway, I paid you back already. Remember I sabot you with Ella? Remember that the party at the launch um, or museum or I don't know what. We've had so many parties. Never mind. We are evil. Yeah. Hmm? But somehow clubbing, I can remember. We were laughing so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were. <laughs> hey, do you remember that guy that Rachel was dating? The one that cheated on her with that Tao in Vanessa? What's his name? Who? Mm. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Uh, mm, Brian. Br Brian? Ah, uh, that idiot. <laughs> we really thought him a lesson. Yeah, we cornered him uh, around the back of the... Behind... Behind the... You know, 
I got him the same way. <laughs> Who? Ella's rapist. Huh? Jeffrey O. It's not too late to make your marriage work. Clearly, you can, from what I've seen tonight. The problem is, I don't love James. Your old friends. Happy marriages have been built on less. It isn't enough for me, Mom. Why? Because you're in love with Hawk? You're in for disappointment, my dear. The whole day today, he's been pestering me about a big development project in Vietnam. I'll hand it to him. The boy has ambition. Perhaps more ambition than James and Louis put together. He's more interested in making his first million than he is in making a life with you. Can you start calling from the bottom and I'll work from the top? Sure. Maybe this is a sign that we shouldn't move. Are you going to help to call or are you going to suddenly be busy and go to work? Khalid, why aren't you eating? Not hungry. What's the matter? We want to go for team sports training today. But Igbo and Amaru said I must go. Why don't you want to go? Don't like it. Then don't go. Really? Mm -hmm. Come, eat first. <laughs> 